Pushed Sandwich. Let's talk. No, we, we got we got um time for one more, one more topic. What y'all think? What's <laughs> up? It is what it is. It's up to you. All right. Well, yeah, let's 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 uh let's do this real quick. Cause okay. I, I think it's an interesting topic. It's um cancel culture. Like, do we think it's appropriate to cancel somebody in, in popular culture? Because maybe they misspeak or they made one indiscretion. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody has a weak moment. But like in our society, it's like, yo, what? You did what? Nah, I'm not buying your music. I'm not seeing your movies. You're done. Do yeah, I mean, I can talk about that. But I think it depends on the extent of what they did. Um. I absolutely think it is okay to cancel a person, right? Because it's the same way where in real life, if you find out somebody you knew did some real crazy side-eye stuff, mm -hmm. I would cancel them in real life too, like depending the extent of what they did. So to me, if I could cancel a person that I know personally mm -hmm. from something they did that, that was outrageous or offensive to the Black community or whatever it may be, then absolutely in... On a celebrity level, I feel like the same thing should apply. Like, why should they be held to any different standard or because they're a celebrity? I mean, I agree. But again, it, it does depend on what the situation is. Because certain things in life you can do, but then you can come back from it within time. Even, even a personal relationship with a person, you can, they can do something. Um, they can do something. And it's like, okay, you're mad with them right now. But, you know, given some time, y'all can mend those differences and y'all be good tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? But it all depends on what it is that happens. You know what I mean? But, I mean, in celebrities, you got a lot of, you got a lot of, cele I mean, for example, you got, I remember, what's his name? Brian McKnight. I think Brian McKnight, I, I heard a lot of women, like, write off Brian McKnight because supposedly he beat his ex-wife or something like that or whatever. And what it's like, I mean, huh? I didn't hear that. Right. Okay. I mean, let's just say that. Let's just say that's the narrative, right? Mm -hmm. I'm saying it's like, okay, that's a personal situation to happen within, in you know, it's a domestic situation, you know. Unfortunately, because he's a celebrity, it comes out. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, okay, nobody's perfect. A lot of, I mean, you know, there's times or whatever in regular relationships, you can say something verbally, you know, offensive to your your spouse or what have you, to where they took it a particular way, it hurt their feelings, whatever and such. Or y'all might have even gotten physical. I'm not condoning. I'm not condoning it, but at the same time, it's like these are certain things that if it happens, a person can recover from that later on within some time. That don't mean just because it happened, we got to completely write their career off and they should be, you know, cast out because they made a mistake. What do you think, Tiffany? See, I, I mean, you know, you always talk about me because I'm such an idealist and optimist, like really what hope and pray that we live in a society where people can be reformed. And I think that like people are less likely to be reformed. But they have to do that reformation by themselves or if they don't feel like they have anybody on their team to support them through the process or help them out. And so that to say, like in a perfect world, it would be nice that we could rehabilitate people. But I'm only going to rehabilitate you if you like change the behavior and walk away from the behavior and choose to make different choices. But when it comes to artists, sometimes they just have to be held accountable and there's no other way. If you wanna com be committed to doing the same stuff that's toxic and abusive and problematic, like you make the choice to be out in the public, right? And everybody mm -hmm. has problematic parts of themselves. So we need, to stop, we need to stop always rushing to judge people. But sometimes people gotta feel it in their pocket. And I'm not gonna support you if like, you do some toxic stuff and you are just committed to it because I think that right now we live in a world where people feel like you have to walk on eggshells. You can't say the wrong thing about this community, that community, the other community. And it's like everybody's learning and, and going to make mistakes, but is it like is it like a habitual thing you're committed to doing even when you get feedback or are you willing to take that feedback and do something? I think that brings up a good point. And the point being that what is the severity of what they did? Like what was the transgression? Because, like, I'm sorry, but I, if a man is beating his wife and he's a celebrity, 
I think it's it's almost fitting that he gets canceled because it sets a it sets a message like that's not acceptable. Like you can't be a rapist and think, oh, I made a mistake. Um, buy my record. Nah, homie, you gonna have to suffer this punishment. You better find. I a think rape, rapists, and 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 a domestic dispute is two different things. You can't yeah. accidentally rape somebody. I mean, a domestic dispute it could be a fight between a man and a woman, and we only just know because if the man has a name, it's only heard that he hit the woman. We don't care if the woman actually hit first or she hit second or whatever the case is. Just because he hit, that's it. And if you you know um, look at look at the, look at Bow Wow look at Bow Wow when he had his situation with his girl she didn't have a name but because he was in a domestic dispute with the girl people were shitting on him and not regardless of what his side of the story was because she came out and said he did this that and a third people were, you know throwing him under the bus right I feel too that celebrities in a sense I mean it may be a bit unfair to them but. I feel like because they're idolized, they're also held to a different standard, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Um, and don't let it be a political, you know, celebrity or a political person because they're really held to a different standard. So, Most of them. Mine is I mean, look what happened with Monica Lewinsky and that whole scan. So it's like, where we know men do that on a regular basis. And women, you have these types of affairs on a regular basis. But because he did it, it was like, oh no. Oh no, hell hath well, fury. You it, know? it was it wasn't that he did it, it's that he lied about it. Like but yeah, but and that he did it, I think. I think it's both. Like he definitely it, got some shame around cheating on his wife as I well. Think I, even I, if he I mean, told yeah. the truth, it still would have set that narrative about yeah, what that people would have been. It wouldn't have mattered, period. The fact that he was the president and was and that was Thank a scandal, you. that's it. And it was I mean to be right. honest with you, it, it wouldn't have made him look bad if he would have owned up to it. And he, if he didn't lie about it, if he'd have just said, you know what, I was caught, da, 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 it wouldn't have made him look bad. It still would have just been like, only thing would have been like, it would just perhaps probably the type of, the, you know, the, the, the way the girl look, well, he probably would have took an L for, if anything. But other than that, he was celebrating. Uh, he still would have been celebrated for the fact I'm, that, oh, I'm not touching that. I'm not I touching that. Too. I would have did too. I'm See, not touching that, bro. Though, is that <laughs> different people? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. See what I'm saying? See? <laughs> nah, because nah, yeah, because you judging that lady. I'm playing with so much. Judging right. that lady. <laughs> how <she> look. <laughs> See, um, here's the thing. There's like different standards for different people because the current White House occupant is a <laughs> non rape rapist. Right, right. right. And he gets That's a pass true. for it. So it's like some people Don't let Obama allegedly do. Allegedly, but he okay. You, I, I don't really. I'm not going to do the alleged thing with him because he Why named not? the fact that he walks around and grabs women's. <laughs> oh yeah, assault. but but so, but that's that's sexual assault versus rape. That's is in the same house, but is different. No, but people get canceled for assault. Like, had that have been Obama? I mean, you know, we really didn't. I didn't want to take this political. But the reality is, had it have been Obama that was walking around and saying the same thing, he would have absolutely. 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 So I think it depends on who you are as uh well, like Tiffany said. uh And I think think even to your point with that, if you mention Obama, it's because of how positively he was idolized. And if something like that would have happened, how his name would have been. Whereas the way how Trump is idolized, it's all negative. So it's almost as if like what you're it's doing, it, yeah, it fits that. So it's yeah. like we're yeah, we already throwing we already throwing dirt on you anyway. So Remember, you know, uh, that is only adding more dirt to that, and it's not really like it's like it's not surprising. It's not really doing anything. It is what it is. Remember the dude Anthony Weiner? Yeah, he actually showed his Weiner. <laughs> With the whole little sex thing or whatever he was yeah, doing. Yeah, he got canceled. So He definitely got canceled. That's for I sure. Think but that's because he was doing it with minorities, too. And that's why I said it depends my, on the Minors. Minors. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> In my mind, I think it's minors, and I said minorities. Brad, <laughs> edit that out. Not minorities. <laughs> Minors, like, I think well, that's he showed what a black woman his penis. Exactly. Nah, we gotta get rid of this. <laughs> but that can be how it is sometimes. Oh, that can be how it is. 
Because had it have been he got caught sexting with someone that was of age and like I think that people would have been like, oh, that's messed up what he did, but he wouldn't have gotten canceled as fast as he got canceled. I mean, this yeah. man got canceled by his wife, he got canceled by society, he got canceled left and right. And typically a white man of his stature would not have gotten canceled that, not for that. fast. Not for that. Yeah. yeah, it's so funny how some not for that. Don't, exactly. don't get canceled. I feel like we're getting better. So, mm, maybe not. But like you look at somebody like Andrew Gillum who got caught with a male prostitute um, was it earlier this year or late last year. But he was a hypocrite because he, he was advocating for laws and policies that would actually hinder the gay community and mm -hmm. out there with a male prostitute. That's well, I don't know. Oh. I don't know the details of that, but what I will say is that he has, he's basically like made a comeback within the course of the same year. And it's like, huh, interesting. So I just, I didn't expect that to be possible, but you know, you can get your little, well, Olivia Pope in the background, help you handle out your, handle your scandal and you can have the narrative shift shifted. So you just got to be strategic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, my, my take on it is, I feel like certain things reach a certain level of severity that you should be canceled to send a clear message to society that this is not acceptable. But only because you're a celebrity? Not, I just think in general, like, yo, when you do certain things, you can't come back. See, I'm, I'm with you in a sense, but I think, here's the thing. We all do certain things behind closed doors and because it's closed, behind closed, we don't know about it. So, and because nowadays or whatever, everything is caught on camera. If you catch me doing something on camera in the privacy of my own home, should I be canceled for it? Something that, of, of the point that you're making. Should I get canceled for it? Yes. Because I, I think it's no. the extent of what you get caught doing. Like, I, was, yeah. I was about to say that. If we all have, I think people naturally have all weird fetishes and all weird tendencies. No, I don't. No, but, I'm not saying. I'm not saying. Okay, okay. You're talking. I'm matter of fact, Sharon, go ahead. Go ahead. I don't want to. I don't want to cut you off. Yeah, say what you're saying. And no, I would just say I think it depends what's happening behind closed doors. Because if behind closed doors you got like some minors locked up in your basement and you're doing some crazy different. stuff with the that's expert, different. that's different. No, but that's what I'm saying. There's extents. There's mm -hmm. levels to the craziness mm -hmm. that's happening behind closed doors. Mm -hmm. Whereas mm -hmm. behind closed doors, you may have a whole porno collection. It's like, all right, whatever. But that mm -hmm. compared to you know, I don't know, my, something you're doing with minors mm -hmm. or even animal abuse, whatever it may be, you know, it just depends on what's mm -hmm. happening behind closed doors. Because I don't think it's the secret that's the problem. I think it's what is the secret that's the problem. Yeah, I agree. But, but, okay, I mean, if you see a video of a, if you see a video of a celebrity and like some, let's say somebody caught video of some particular celebrity in his home, he's, you know, he's having a dispute with his wife and like she hits him and then he hits her back. So because he has a name and then people is 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 is, is calling for him to be fired or or or, or no sell no more selling of his records or, or his clothing or whatever it may be or whatever. Is that right? So uh, first of all, so I don't think it's because he has a name. I think it's because he's the man. Because uh I don't think women should That's the point either. I was gonna I make as well. That was the point I was gonna make as well. I think it's it's just a toxic dynamic to be put in hands, whether it's a female or male, on each other. However, a man. I don't think women. Force, I don't think women get that. I don't think women get that same charge, even if she hits they first. They don't. They don't. And I think it's probably because of the force that a man can hit with, as opposed to a woman. I, I, hitting, hitting. Period. Hitting. Period. We're, we're talking about the hitting. Period. Not about not the force of the hitting. We're talking about hitting. Period. And I'm like, anytime a man does it, it don't. It don't have to be the force. He just hit a woman. He, he just hit a woman. Yeah, really. but the way he hits her can cause probably a little bit more damage than when she just, you know, well, gives him a tap. I, I, I hear what you're saying, but it's wrong either way. It's, yeah, it's right, wrong. But that's what I first it's, started off with it's saying. Crippling, it's crippling, period, when a, whatever a man does to a woman and it's captured, it's crippling to what happens to him for doing that. Oh, and it's also crippling to if a woman does it to a man, what happens to him for allowing it and not retaliating. So no, if a man, hold, hold on, hold on. Okay, hear, hear me. If a woman, if a, if a man hits a woman, it don't, it don't necessarily, it already looks like he put force on it. He just hit her. He's going to get ridiculed for doing that period, right? If a woman actually intended to use brute force 
to hit a dude and everybody can see it and cringe the way she hit him and he doesn't do anything, the response that people is going to give him for not hitting her back is almost in the same of what would happened if he just hit her and she didn't do nothing. I, no, I, I disagree, bro. I disagree. All right. I, I, no, I disagree. I so much respect. What? I disagree because in the, the court of public opinion, he'll get clowned, but at the same time, it'd be like he'll get respected for not hitting that woman. I don't think he's gonna get the respect. He's always gonna be known for being he's always gonna be known for being clowned for that. I don't think he's necessarily gonna get the respect. It's always gonna be talked about, damn, like. Yo, like whatever you do or say, people are gonna use it to be like, yo, I go get shorty to knock you out again like she did the last time. You know what I'm saying? That's always yeah. gonna get against them. But like, can I ask you guys a question? Who's clowning these? Because I don't know, like my community of people, I don't feel like a man that's not hitting back a woman is actually very respected. So I'm trying to figure out who's clowning these men that's not hitting a woman back. If anything, there's, there's that's always a segment. The there's always a segment of people who are gonna crack jokes and be like, yo, don't 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 try to disrespect me. My, my wife will come in here and knock you out. There's <laughs> gonna be those guys, right? But I think mm -hmm. I think overall society respect the guy. Like he'll he'll catch yeah. in certain groups. You know what I mean? Like certain dudes is gonna clown him. But overall society will respect like yo, yo, you you could have you could have you know gave in to your your evil and, and knock that lady out, but you didn't. Kudos. Yeah, because it takes a lot of restraint for for you to not, regardless of your gender. It takes an extreme amount of restraint to not put your hands back on somebody. Absolutely, and putting their hands on you. So, I for real, it's definitely and commendable. You, what makes it even harder is when you got what makes it even harder when you got a person who's looking to bring that type of excitement to you, wanting you. To hit that type of attention. Yeah. She want all you know the smoke. I mean? And it's like, yo, I smoke. gotta, it's hard for me to be, you know, to hold that restraint to not, re you know, to not respond to what you just did. Yeah. Especially if, if and when it's done in public. If it's done in a house where nobody can see it, that's one thing. But the pressure of you did this in front of thousands of people. Not only do I have to have restraint, I now have to just like, you, it's uh, that 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 is that, that that's restraint in itself. That's restraint in itself. Absolutely. I just at the I mean at the end of the day at the end of the day I mean I I hear what y'all saying. Depending on what it is the person has done, I think a per I think a person shouldn't, especially if they don't have history of uh, of of certain things. I don't think they should completely just be casted out because of one mistake, depending on what the situation was. Like, look at Jared yeah. from Subway. That dude had- But it was the kids, right? It was the kids. Yeah. Oh, no. That's different. There's what no coming I, back from Jared that. From that's Subway. different. What did I that's, that, that's, that's a situation you can't come back from. I'm a firm believer when it comes to something like rape or, or pedophilia, there's no coming back from that. Yep. There's so no what coming back from that. Jared from Subway? He had um like child pornography. Yeah, child mm -hmm. pornography. Something like that, yeah. Uh, um, nah, there's no done, coming so. back from that. You can't sit. There's no. You can't sit there and say, "Oh, that I, that 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 accidentally happened." You can't say that. No. that so was do y'all think you thought you thought that in full? Do y'all think that cancel culture is causing people to stop doing things, or do you think it's causing them to just cover up? With their I think I think cancel culture is also. Would you would you would you necessarily think cancel culture can happen from you know saying something you shouldn't have said? And yeah. I think a lot, I think, and I think social media controls people because it's like if you say something as far as towards gay people, whatever the case may be, you don't want to say how you truly feel because you don't want to fall into Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I don't like there's certain conversations I just don't have on social media because I don't want, I don't care what other people have to say. Like I feel the way I feel, and I don't need a thousand and one people coming at me for feeling the way I feel. So that's why there's certain topics I will only have amongst my inner circle of people as opposed to publicly. You, But you know what's funny about that? We could have a conversation like this and people will feel the need to attack you for just this point alone, and it's not that serious, and try to use that 
to push you into that into that closet of get her out of here for that. Like, right. So how dare you feel this way? And it's like, yo, at the end of the day, it's like, it's almost as if my right of, of, of free speech is being taken away from me. Like, if this is how I feel, this is how I feel. It's, I mean, if you want to push yep. me away because of this is how I feel, I'm, you know what, at the end of the day, I can, you can push me away. That means now I can continue saying what I want to say because right. you're pushing me out anyway. So F it, it is what it is. Well, so I, I, how, how, but, but still though, I think cancel culture has its use, right? Because I think freedom of speech, right? Freedom of choice. We got the right to say and do whatever we want, right? But on the flip side of that, people have the right to not go to your restaurant anymore, not buy your music anymore. Right. They have that right. You want to cuss them out for twerking. <laughs> wow. Yep. So, or I even mean, on follow like, And I thought that that's where he was going. And I thought that's where he was going. Word. I wasn't even thinking about that. <laughs> I thought that's where you was going when you said that, Sean. <laughs> I wasn't even For thinking real, about that. I thought that's where you was going with it. No, I'm, I, I just think sometimes cancel culture goes too far, right? Like, for example, like people who said some things in the 70s, that's like 40, 50 years ago, right? There was a whole different culture and vibe back then. Why are they being canceled? Because some 18 year old on Instagram found some video and was like, I can't believe this guy said that back in 1973. You know why? I think because everybody is like an unofficial reporter. Everybody want to be able to say, or to look deep into, well, as I, people that are investigators and reporters, they want to mm -hmm. be able to do some research to throw you completely under the bus because they found something, they want to, because they, they were able to report this. You know what I mean? So it's like, look at the situation with, um, with, 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 with Kevin Hart, where he said something towards gay people. It's like, yo, like, again, how you want to castrate him for something that he said how long ago? Like, yo, like, it is what it is. We all have a past. Sometimes we said certain things. You may not agree with it, but you're going to throw somebody away because of they said something you don't agree with? Like, I mean, I thought at some point when we all have conversations, we're supposed to just listen to what we're saying so we can have a conversation. But because I said one particular tidbit you don't agree with, I'm getting casted out. That's crazy. But see, where does accountability factor into the conversation? Because with the Kevin Hart example specifically, like, would the apology, and maybe he had apologized before, I don't remember, but like, would the apology have killed him? You know what I'm saying? But because he did apologize. But he... He did. He did apologize. Yes, he did. Yeah, uh -huh. he did. Okay. And he was good after that, because suddenly people started liking him again. Right. You know? But it was I, like I think that's how I think that's how it's supposed to work. Like he took accountability. Yeah, you, but the you, thing was, it was like pulling teeth to get him to. No, it wasn't. No, it, wasn't. No, it wasn't. It was, what, what, no, it wasn't. They want you know the what the problem was. In order for right. him to host the um the awards, they wanted him to apologize again. It was yeah. like yo, he already apologized. How much more apologizing you want me to do? Well, I just have a personal bias against Kevin Hart. I, I clearly I, see that he struggles Why? with the comedy. I so that's see just, that. He what? struggles with that, with accountability. He always trying to play, play He always trying to displace blame and not. How? But we well, okay. But we, just, but we just, but we just gave you a a, a particular situation where I'm not talking about that situation. I'm talking about as an umbrella situation for his life. Well, that's your own personal bias. You yeah, that's is. your own personal bias. That's why, that's why I say that's bias, that's not opinion. That's, yeah, I, that's why opinion. I say bias, not opinion, because it oh. is. Bias. So, so this is one little tip that I got thrown here, is that, did you know like Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, they have algorithms that pretty much show you and cater to your bias so that it creates a like bubble of reality, like for you. So example, like you, you say you have a bias against Kevin Hart. So everything that probably comes on your newsfeed about Kevin Hart is talking exactly about how he doesn't take accountability, which reinforces your bias. Right. But how do they know that? That's kind of disturbing. Like, how do they know what to put in your? Because they monitor like what you like. Yeah. You, you ever you ever you ever go shopping? You ever go like in, you know look on the internet for like sneakers? Uh, let's right. say you go on Foot Locker. Next thing you see a, a advertisement of Foot Locker on your on your Instagram newsfeed. Yeah. From yeah, there's going a documentary a about it. Huh? From going into a Foot Locker, or you mean when no, you search you go on the website? Like if you go, like if you oh go yeah, that's website. because of the whole cookies thing, isn't it? That's a part of it. 
Yeah, that's part. Yeah. Yeah, I don't I mean, know I, like that. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I first, I, it first confused me at first. So I was like, because I did that like, like what it was like a year ago or something like that. And I was like, hold up. I didn't, I'm like, hold up. How did this just pop up on, like, yo, I'm like, is that a coincidence? And then I learned that after. I'm like, yo, that's crazy. It is that's crazy. That's kind of scary even, at the same time, too. Even things I feel like, I swear, and I don't think I'm the only person. At least I don't th- hope I'm not the only person. I feel like even things that I say, it'll, mm. like, pop up on my phone later on, too. Like, if I talk about Lysol. Yeah. Then I'll see yeah. it, like, pop yeah, up yeah, on yeah. my phone. I'm like, wait, yeah. how is this possible? Mm-hmm. But you know what? That stuff scares me. There's a documentary about it on Netflix. Yes, it scares me too. Social media. But it's just like the, I mean, we probably, like privacy is probably only really a, an illusion at this point in our society. Mm-hmm. Not with a phone. I, just, no privacy with a phone. I worry yeah. about that. And that's why when they keep throwing you them, yo, you could get the, you know, they 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 creating these nice phones for everyone because they know that it's like everybody is so charged up about the new phone. And all them new phones is catered yeah. to that same type of shit or whatever that we're talking about. And everybody's running out to go get it. And it's like, nah, I'm good. And every app, for whatever reason, every app now asks for permission to your your microphone and your camera. Yeah, it Ooh. does. Why? Like you're you're a tic tac toe app. Why do you need <laughs> why do you need permission for Oh, you mean that? Oh. Um... I mean, like every every app that you ever download, when you read like the terms of a uh, agreement, the term terms of service, like read it. It'll say we need access to your camera and your mm-hmm. microphone. Mm-hmm. And if you don't wow. agree to it, certain features you don't get access to. Yeah, why? That's wow. Wow. You be playing. You be playing a tic tac toe app. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. Oh. <laughs> I do play checkers, though. I do play checkers. I'll be playing Sudoku. So I, I guess we all kind of agree on the whole cancel culture. Like, it has a place, but sometimes it goes too far, you know? Right? All right, cool. So... Y'all know what time it is. I think that was a great conversation. You know what I think? I think? Yes, it was. Yes, it was. All right. So I think that was a great conversation. Uh, if you like this content, hit that subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up. Make sure you share this. Have conversations about this. Um, it really helps us out. And also check out the links in the description section. Uh, support Black Business. Uh, Sharon has a business, um, Eclectic Souls organics.com check that out tiffany has uh organization what's the name of your organization again it's the black coalition and the project is called the ground up project exactly i'm gonna leave a link in the description section for that and also check out our sponsor which is pure vpn allows you to stay anonymous online all that (laughs) stuff all that's going to be in the description section and also we have another channel that's actually called Smush sandwich. Smush sandwich. For real, smush right. sandwich. Smush sandwich or whatever. <laughs> as soon as gonna right. be, it's gonna be on, it's gonna be on it's gonna be on sweaters, t-shirts, it's gonna be everywhere soon. So you better be there from the beginning because it don't even matter. You just better be there. And you just better be there. Be there. Yeah. <laughs> all right, yo. And with that, thank y'all for uh having this conversation. Appreciate all y'all. Uh, y'all know what it is, and we are out. Even if you don't like the contest, still subscribe. <laughs> Too funny. <laughs>